Hi, welcome to Love Aquarium Sanctuary. I'm Bianca and I wanted to give you my end of 2022 wrap up. So basically I just wanted to go through some stats. This is probably going to be very boring. Yeah, I just wanted to go through some stats I like to track basically and give you a summary of how my year went. So I guess we'll go straight into my stats and I read uh, 177 books. Sorry if I look down as well. I've got all this written down. So I read 177 books in 2022 and that actually surprised me. I didn't expect to read so much, but there you go. I know it's nothing compared to some. I mean, I'm like, I read 177 books and my mother-in-law's like, I read 300. So <laughs> I thought it was a large amount, but that was uh, 48,395 pages. And basically in Goodreads, my shortest book was um, Her Donut Shifters by Mia Harlan. Um, that was only 27 pages, but my longest book was All Packed Up by Lana Cole, and that was 630 pages. It's getting hot in here. I've got to hurry up. <laughs> um, my average book length was 273 pages, and apparently the most shelved book that I read was Twisted Love by Anna Huang. Apparently 476,252 people also have shelved the book. <laughs> My least shelved book was Maku by Maine Wyatt. Only 20 people have shelved this book as well. My average rating was 4.1 stars and my highest rated book was Bailey by Jessica Ames, which is a 4.51 average. Out of those, there's 155 new reads, 26 rereads, 51 audio, 38 physical, and 91 ebook. That surprised me. So did the audio, actually. And out of those are the tropes, I guess, or subgenres. I read three manga, 41 paranormal, 16 alien, five rockstar, three omegaverse. 35 Contemporary, 23 Reverse Harem, 2 Historical, 6 Apocalypse, or Apocalyptic, <laughs> 6 Young Adult, 8 Mafia, 32 mo Motorcycle Club, uh, 3 Monster, and 3 Sports, which, let's be honest, is just ice hockey. <laughs> and then, I guess I'll give you a little bit of stats. Instagram in 2022, I had 595 view followers, whatever. <laughs> um, in 2021, I had 821 by the end of the year. And in 2022, I had 857 by the end of the year. For Goodreads in 2020, 2020 I read 96 books. 2021, I read 131. And 2022, I read 177. So I'm going up. Um, I have... Mm, I guess moved my Goodreads goal to 125. Has been 100 last year, but I thought I'd see how I go and see if I can hit 125. I, I should be able to. I mean, I, I do get over 100 last year and the year before, so I'd assume I could get more. And with BookTube, um, I wasn't existing in 2020, so I've got no stats for you. <laughs> 2021 I actually started my channel at the end of December so it's a year old now yay um but by the end of December last year I had 54 sub followers subscribers whatever thank you <laughs> hopefully we'll just keep going up but um if not thanks for joining me <laughs> what else ah yes I also wanted to tell you I got a kindle I got to Kindle. It's upside down. <laughs> I got a Kindle. So I splurged. And I'm very, very, very glad I got this. Um, I got this case off Amazon. Um, it's just a, a book. Shelf. Really cool. I chuck some stickers on there. It's just asking for my password. I'm not going to tell you that. But um, I do enjoy it a lot, actually. Um... It did surprise me on how just everything, how battery efficient it is, how light it is, 
just everything. I, I love it, love it, love it, love it. So um, I'm kicking myself, I'm wondering why I haven't got one of these earlier. But yeah, look, I, I do adore it. It's it's fantastic. Um, what else happened in 2022? <laughs> oh yes, I'll get my husband to take a bad photo of it. But um, I got a new tattoo about a month ago now. Um, you can't see it, but I'll get Grant to take a photo of it for you. I finally realised I don't have any books on me and I don't have a proper dragon on me. That's a crime. I need to rectify that. So that's the tattoo. I'll probably get another one soon, I'm hoping. I just don't know what yet. I want to get one that sort of represents another book series of mine, but I don't know what to get. <laughs> Dilemmas or where to get it. And then I basically quickly go through my monthly sets for 2022 too. Honestly, I have gone through all of these each month when I wrap up the months. Um, but I thought I'd just basically quickly let you know just a couple of things. So in January, I read 13 books. In February, I read five books. In March, I read nine books. In April, I read 23 books. In May, I read 16 books. In June, I read eight books. In July, I read 16 in August I read 20 books, in September I read 16 books, in October I read 18 books, in November I read 25 books, in December I read 9 books. So it sort of shows you a little pattern I guess. Um, I'll be interested to see if the pattern changes this year. Um, I think November surprised me it was my biggest month. Yeah, it was my biggest month in books and pages. I read 6,469 pages that month as well. And they were all new reads. And I only de DNF'd one book. Um, unfortunately, I only gave one book five stars out of all of them. But <laughs> there was 14 four stars, so there was a lot of close ones. <laughs> um, I will do a separate video on my favourite uh, 2022 books that I read. And I'll also give you some of my favourite genres that I read throughout the year, you know, Reverse Harem, Motorcycle Club, Alien, Paranormal, those sort of ones. I'll give you a little recommendation about the best, best books I read in 2022 for those ones. But basically that was all I wanted to tell you. So yeah, I'm hoping to get more books read in 2022, uh, 2023. It's going to take me half the year to get used to turning over to 2023. <laughs> I'm going to say 2022 till at least July. <laughs> but um, yeah, I basically just wanted to go through my stats really quickly. And sounds like my neighbourhood's starting to get noisy and it's getting hot in here. <laughs> so <laughs> might love yous and leave yous. But I will be giving you a library tour very shortly. Just got to figure out how I want to do that. Um, honestly, it won't change too much from the library tour I've already given you, but um, there has been some changes and, you know, my library has grown and I have added two new shelves since I last gave you a tour, but a lot of these books are not going to change much. Like... Melanie Singh, Cressley Cole, J.R. Ward, those kind of authors um, have a lot of their books. <laughs> so I'm sort of restricted on how I can display them. And I have pre-ordered a shit ton of books from Rare. Ah, uh, so, yeah. I... I'm going to have to figure out where they all live, but at least I don't have to worry about that till April. Um, so I guess that's a good thing. But I know I've got quite a few books coming from the rare um, that I've already pre-ordered. And then I'm probably going to um, buy some books one there as well. So we'll see. <laughs> I'm probably going to have to post the books back, but I'll probably do a completely separate video for rare. Uh, 
if you're interested <laughs> um, to let you know what authors I really want to see and what books I've ordered I guess and um, we'll go from there <laughs> but anyway I might wrap this up thanks for watching I really do appreciate it and I'll catch you in the next one thanks guys bye